It's been quite a while I've played body combat for no particular reason, I just got pretty busy recently. There is a lot to go through so I'll be keeping it light with the workouts but first we're gonna check out what's happening with the mixed reality feature. I think the first teaser of it I saw was during the connect, like the presentation of MR technology in general for Quest 3. And it seemed pretty interesting because it was something else rather than putting a basic pass through and nothing else. Lemiel was always about quality so I hope but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be interesting. For the rest we'll do it eventually. I'll just do a, some sort of a marathon recording today. <laughs> Basically we switch here. <laughs> that transition, okay. And I think every single workout is available. So let's just do something light and then go from there. All right, I got you and you got your gloves up. We are ready to go. So there's a panel. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees. Put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're going to be starting with a slow left jab. Here comes the target. Just quick talk. Don't look at my crocs, by the way. <laughs> I feel like it chooses my wall, but I don't know if I set up this room correctly or not. And it's nicely like cutting it, not just squares and stuff, so... Pretty seamless. Like, I would not even look at my wall anymore. It's just an environment outside. And I don't know if I was ever there. Three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range. Soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go, left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move. Left uppercut and hold. Now the right. Back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up to the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind. It feels good. Okay, get your breath. We're gonna do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now. Bang. You're gonna wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top, squeeze the controller. We're gonna go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll. Let's get the core in. We're going to hit the triple sharp. Right, left, right. Bang. Three, two, one. Go. Nice. And again. We say sit on the punch. That means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm. Right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo. Here it comes. A little quicker. Go. Rolling, rolling, driving. Bend your knees. Start to get in the swing of things. Four more. Four, three. Two, one. 
Awesome. So let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I right, said so just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. I think I've played this before. At least the voiceover is the same. Ah, oh, big move, eh? You clicked on to kill a Cyclops training. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you're ready for it. Front stands. There's a target coming. Don't miss the first one. Just saying. Just saying. Don't miss the first one. Where is it? Left side. Left side. Left side. Go, go, go. Well done. All right, now, where's it coming? Bottom right. Bottom right. Yep. Top right. Now, bottom left. So we're using one hand to punch opposing sides of the room. Bend your knees, rotate the shoulder, drive down. It's called a downward punch. So you've got a hammer to the top corner. Now use your core. A little bit faster, watch this, up and down. Oy. One smash to the corner, and one drive down into the floor. So you're gonna bend your knees, and your lower body's gonna feel like it's in a soft lunge. So imagine you're dominating the arena, and you're driving that punch down into the ground like the superheroes do. Like the superheroes do? Yeah, like the superheroes do! Feel a stretch in your chest. Feel a little bit of heat in the legs if you got it right. And feel some cardio effect. Getting your hands over your head really brings that cardio. Practice over people. Left foot forward, let's see what you got. Four power jabs, left side. Now up and down, left side. Twice. Back to the power jabs. Man, that feels good, doesn't it? It feels good, but it doesn't look so good right now. Can you like, lift your elbow a little? Yes, lift your, now you're talking. Get that knuckle right in the middle of the target. Now shift your body weight forwards and back. Lean into that jab, lean in, lean in. Not lean back, lean in, now lean in. Push off that back foot, that's it. I know heart rate, hey, heart rate, whoosh. All right, we're gonna do that again. Rachel was the hero. I don't mind being the villain. I don't mind being the person that's going to push you. I don't mind being the person that's going to challenge you. Come on. Now this target. Top right. Yep, where is it? Come on. Turn hip, shoulder. Now. Boom. You've even got to release your heel. Try that. Look at it. Look at it. Release heel turn and whip. Excellent. So let's spend a little bit of time on this side now, trying to get some full range. We want to maximize muscle usage. We want to fit in the shoulders, the back, the legs, the core. Don't settle for anything less than your very best. Come on, I'm not here to wrap you up in cotton wool. I'm here to push you. You put your right leg forward. Now the jabs. Oh yeah. Come on, take it out on the targets. Take your frustration out on the targets. We never keep anything built up on the inside in life. Let's not let that happen. Let's not be that person. Come on. That's why we do something like this. We externalize the force outwards. Yeah. And so by the time we finish this, we're going to feel really great about ourselves and about our environment. Come on. Now lean into the strike. That's how you're going to get more weight behind every single punch. Great. So now we're going to continue that alignment, continue the range, come into a nice wide front stance. We're going to be alternating these targets. You know what to do. Just hit the center of them. Good, you got that one. Yep, you got that one. I'm looking at your combo score right now. Oh, yep. See, you're not missing. You're dialed in. You're focused. You're a winner. Yes. Dig deep now. Come on. Just you and the rhythm of the music. Things are about to get faster. Ray says put on your superhero outfit. I say wear any outfit. Ready for the triple shot, go! Three, two, same arm, same side. Now switch it, now switch it, left side. This is up, down, all around counter workout. 
We're going big with intensity. And there's something about standing your ground and going three times in a row that feels really dominant. Boom! Bend your knees. Come on, reach up. Get on your toes. If you're short like me. Well done. Yeah, perfect score. Not that perfect, like there were a couple misses sometimes by my fault. And there were some frame drops, interestingly. Probably this mixed reality takes up a bunch of performance. I mean, too bad this was something that I've already seen. I don't know if it is exact workout, but the setting seemed familiar. In terms of mixed reality, it is pretty seamless. Like, you have a window of some sort. I think it scans if it's your wall or not and then adjusts to the size. It doesn't feel unnatural, like it's pretty much an entrance to the environment. Interestingly, when I move my real hands into it, then those disappear, so it's like a hard overlay that transitions from MR to VR. Obstacles also fly past you. That's a nice touch for the <laughs> realism or whatever. Overall, I think Versolid would play this either in VR or MR. I don't really mind because the quality is pretty much the same. So up to your preference really of your gameplay.